Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the two different ways that you can go about buying books for your Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. The first way that I'm gonna show you is my preferable way, which is doing it from Amazon's website. And if you'd like to buy your Amazon Kindle books through their website, I'll post a link right at the top of the video description so you can access it through there. But after I go through that example, then I'm gonna show you how you can actually buy books directly from your Kindle Paperwhite. So over on Amazon's website in the Kindle books area, this is my preferable way to do this. And again, I'll post a link at the top of the description if you'd like to browse through the books on their webpage. But there's different ways that you can go about filtering books up here at the top and scrolling down in these different categories, you can find books that you might be interested in as well in this area. But going back to the top, I know exactly which book I'm looking for, so I can type that in the search bar here at the top. So the first book that I'm gonna be purchasing is the Tao Te Ching. Now, depending on the book that you're looking for, particularly if it's an older book that's been adapted, there might be some different options that you can look through. Just make sure that if you're getting one of the more affordable options that it's actually what you're looking for or a good translation or a good version of the book because you can see some of these prices are quite a bit different as you start scrolling down the list as opposed to the ones that are closer to the top. Now, once you find the book that you'd like to purchase over here on the side, it's going to have the Kindle price. And the book that you're purchasing might also be available through Kindle Unlimited, and you might have a free trial available to you if that's something that you're interested in. But if you'd like to purchase the book so that you can keep it forever, the option that I'm going to do here is buy now with one click. So the price of this book is 99 cents for the Kindle version. So to buy this, I'm going to click right here where it says buy now. And it'll either take you to a purchase confirmation page or it'll tell you that your payment is pending. Once your payment goes through, then you will own this digital Kindle ebook. So at this point, you can view the summary of your order or you can continue shopping for books over at the Kindle store by clicking that option. So now I'm gonna take you back over to my Kindle device to show you how you can purchase books from there and then also how you can access these in the Kindle Paperwhite itself. All right, guys, back over at my Kindle, turning it back on. From the homepage of our Kindle Paperwhite, I can scroll down to discover books or see ones that are recommended for me in these different categories. If you know exactly what book you're looking for to purchase, we can search right here at the top in the search bar. So I'm gonna click in there, and I'm gonna type in the name of the book that I'm interested in purchasing, then click enter. And I wanna click on the results to see the results from the Kindle store. Now, another reason why I don't prefer shopping for Kindle books this way is because you can see that we don't have the prices listed right here. I actually have to click on the book itself, and then it takes me over to the book details page, which does show me the price. But this can be a little bit cumbersome, especially with a book like Meditations that has a lot of different adaptations, and I'm looking for the one that's giving me the best bang for the buck. So this second option right here is the one that I'm looking for. And the price on this one's only 99 cents. So once you find the book that you'd like to purchase, you can click the buy for option. And then it'll take you to the next page where it says, thanks, your book will automatically appear in your library when the download is complete. So you can continue shopping. You can start reading the book right now. If you purchased by accident, you can cancel. Or we can go back to the home page by clicking this X up here. Quick note here at the end, if you ever want to check on your digital ebook orders, you can do so from Amazon's website. You can click on your returns and orders, and then you click on the digital order tab. And you can see the ebooks that you have purchased in this area. And you can click on where it says manage content and devices. And in this area, it'll show you your ebooks. You can deliver or remove these books from your device. You can delete them. And it's important to note that whatever Amazon account you have linked on your Amazon Kindle Paperwhite is going to be the same Amazon account that you have to be logged into when you're buying these books for them to show up over on your Kindle Paperwhite. When you purchase Kindle eBooks, they should automatically show up in your library. We can see this right from our homepage, or we can click on the library tab down here at the bottom, and it'll show you the newest books that you just bought right here towards the front of the line. And if you want to start reading the book, you just click on it. But you should be good to go at this point in time. So I hope this video is helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how you go about buying Kindle books for your Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. Whether you'd like to do this from the Amazon website or on the Kindle Paperwhite itself, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you back here next time.